Okay, here is part two of the gorgeous music castle. And right away we get greeted with dancing legs. Which is kind of weird, but also kind of cool too. A little secret right here, we have this picture of dancing. If you jump inside the photo, you go to a secret room with some money. You can use that to, you know, if you're short to buy some items in the last area. And there's also the golden fortune doll, so we just have one more fortune doll to collect and that's actually coming up here pretty soon. Gotta get through a few more rooms though first. And yeah. Whoa. Okay, look look how the ladder goes through the floor. That's kind of bad game design. Or not really bad game design, but like poor art design. To just have, you know, the ladder like going through the floor. But yes, there are two parts to the gorgeous musical castle. Uh, this part is the shorter of the two parts, but... <sighs> Come on. But yeah, when you combine the whole castle together, it is a fairly large castle. I wish I had a better camera angle so I could see where I was jumping. Okay, how did I not make that? I know I jumped kind of, like, abruptly, but still... I don't really want to use this, but whatever, it still didn't work. Okay, now is not the time to fail jumps over and over again. Oh, come on. Now I can't even make that jump. Again, it would help if the camera was actually a little better at this point. Oh, okay, good. Okay, finally made it. Um, I don't know which door to go through. I think it's this one. I was wrong. It's the other one. Okay, be careful in this room because I believe if you fall, you have to do that whole part over. I had to open my mouth. Actually, I don't know how much you have to redo. Okay, no, I was wrong. Never mind. You can just ride this platform up again. I thought the backtracking was a lot worse than that. <laughs> it's really not. Okay, let's actually make this jump. Or not. Ugh. And it's kind of weird. When I did this on my practice file, like I had a lot of trouble making jumps in the first part of the castle, yet I breezed through the second part. And now it's now it's going the opposite. That's definitely the let's play curse at work though. You do amazing on things you normally do bad on, and you do terrible on the easiest of tasks. Okay, now I can't even make that first jump. I really don't want to cut footage here. Because that's just stupid. Cutting footage for one jump. Okay. Okay, there. Got that jump. Now we have this jump. Okay, good. I made that. Now we just have to make it through the rest of this room. And I think I need going on for this. Actually, I don't think we need him, but... I'd better be safe than sorry. And here... I think you can just jump over there. Okay, yep, you can. Now we gotta make our way back. And there we go, finally. Okay, this room right here, it's actually a lot easier than it looks, especially with how much health I have. So, I'm going to do this the cheap way. Yeah, that's all you have to do. Like, they expect you to go across the entire room and use uh, Goemon's 
special power, but that is the very lame way of doing things. If you're doing a speedrun of this game, it's definitely a better idea to do what I just did. But yes, let us continue. Watch out for these guys, because I believe these guys are the rocket robots. That kind of jump in the air and try to fly right into you. I doubt they'll do much damage, though, considering how much health I have. Okay, hit this switch and immediately jump on the elevator, because you do not want to wait for this thing to go all the way up. Although I think you could probably just exit the room and re-enter, but still. Yeah, we're going to ride this elevator all the way to the top. And I believe we'll get a key. So yeah, we have the diamond key, which is the key we needed to open the door in the first room. So, we're actually almost done here. You can grab some money right here if you want, but... I'm going to do this itemless. Okay, back in the first room. I'm gonna have some fun. Die, die, die. Eat the kunai of severe cold. having some fun with my weapons before I fight the final boss. And okay, here's the room with the last fortune doll. Uh, watch out for these stupid enemies, these stupid rose enemies I fought earlier. And there we go, we have all the fortune dolls in the game, and our health is at X maximum, so we are definitely ready to fight the final boss. You know what I just realized? I have 640 Ryu. 64 is my favorite number. How perfect is that? Okay, so now we have a spinning wheel room. Kind of reminds me of Super Mario Galaxy. That one room, and I think it was, um... It was one of the Bowser levels. I think it was one of the Bowser levels. Ah, whatever. Okay, we have a sign right here. Peach Mountain Main Hall Entrance. So, yeah, this looks like where the ending is going to take place. Okay, Dancing and Lily, I'm here. Welcome. Welcome to our stage, Lala. Fernandez. I am not Fernandez. Behave yourself. This will be your last stop anyway. What do you mean? Today is the day you get to experience our secret powers. What's this extra confidence I sense? I don't know what secret powers they say they have. But they can't defeat us. Yes, you're right. I don't see any way that they can defeat us. <laughs> don't be so sure of yourselves. All we have to do is join our two forces together, Lala. And it'll be history for... You guys! Starting right now, we will make you our... 
Die hard fans. Yes. Die hard fans. What? Listen, Lala, to the song, Lala. Observe, Lala, the dance, Lala. Of the Peach Mountain Shoguns, Lala. Uh oh. Best performance ever. <laughs> I love that. I love that performance. Me and my friend just like stared at that in shock when we first saw that. Phew, what was that? I I can't believe it. I don't know, but I think I'm becoming a diehard fan of Dancing and Lily. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Come on, open your eyes. Hey, where did Dancing and the guys go? Uh-oh. Really? Another time bomb? In your own castle? Swine, they reactivated the time bomb and ran. I'm not letting them escape. And here it is, once you save at this point right here, you can no longer go back to the main part of the game. You're stuck at the final boss for all eternity until you delete the game. Which I do not have a problem with. And for the third and final time... If you think I'm gonna cut this out, you're crazy. Okay guys, here it is. The final boss of the game is an impact fight. And there are a few things I should probably mention. Um, just for any of you who are curious about the way impact's head spins at the end of the song, um, you can actually control that by spinning the control stick around. So yes, I was doing that. It wasn't the game. That wasn't part of the animation or anything. That was actually me doing that. Um, uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Um, I really don't know how um, these videos are going to be split up now, because I'm looking at the time limit for this recording session, and I'm only at 35 minutes, and I expect it to be at 40 minutes by this point, which, I mean, that's not too far away, but still, I got through this a lot faster than I thought I would. 
I kind of expected to do everything in the last video, but... Oh, well, I'll, fi I'll figure it out. This will still take three videos, definitely, but... The last video is going to be kind of short. But here we go. Ready for the final boss. It's the Peach Mountain Spaceship. It is the Great Peach Mountain Battleship, Balbera. Okay, so in the first two fights, you really don't use your Rio very much. In this fight, it's the exact opposite. You want to, like, spam your Rio in this battle. Because it's going to really be the only way you can damage the boss. Uh, you can also use your Chain Pipe, too. But it's not very effective. But yeah, the first part of the battle will, like, cycle around to the various parts of the uh, uh, spaceship. And they'll basically fire projectiles at you. So you just want to take out each individual part of the battleship. And uh, that's basically how you do this. Um, if you need more Ryu, just uh, punch those uh, multicolored balls, and in a little bit you'll get a chance to punch these little peach spaceships that keep flying around. Uh, they will give you Ryu whenever you punch them, so do not worry about like running out of it. They give you plenty of it in this fight. Also make sure you take care of these stupid cannons, because they will get annoying. And when the machine opens up, fire your Ryu viciously inside. And that is how you actually get rid of its health. Overall, not a very hard boss, especially since it really encourages you to waste all the Ryu you get from the little cutscene, or the little the smash-up section at the beginning. And you can easily get some more by just killing these guys, so... Yeah, you should have plenty of ammo for this. And if you really need it, you can also use your uh, mouth laser. But it's really hard to aim the mouth laser here because uh, the screen kind of scrolls with the game a little bit. And um, the laser... Like, the laser has to focus on one point, so... If you try to fire at it when the ship is moving, you're probably going to miss. Like, I could fire right now, but I'm not going to. I'll save the mouth lasers for the final boss. Which, why am I not killing the stupid gun over here? Okay, there we go. And... Dang it, I missed. See, that's what I mean, though. Like, I was, like, firing straight in the middle of it, and then it kind of just, like, moved a little bit and made me miss. It's pretty easy to fill up your um, mouth laser again, though. So don't let that worry you too much if you like need to depend on the mouth laser, which you won't. Okay, we're about done here. One mouth laser would actually kill it at this point. But I don't know if I can actually fire at it or not. Okay, I got it. There we go. Boss defeated. Or not yet. Dang it. Okay. I have uh, 15 health left. And there we go. Balbera is defeated. But that was pretty anticlimactic. Could this truly be the final boss? Okay, I don't think it's over just yet. They have one more machine under their sleeves. The Fairy of Love and Dreams. <laughs>